Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our video today. A uh, bit of an unusual one this one. This patient's come through following uh, numerous syringing attempts to remove what uh, they thought was a little bit of wax and possibly part of a cotton wool ball uh, that had been stuck in this patient's ear. So as we start suctioning, we can see that uh, we can see the white fibers just there as they get sucked into the, uh, the, the Zolna tube. So we know this is cotton wool on the outer part of the ear canal. The difficulty when you have cotton wool like this sometimes is the wax coats the outside so it looks like a blob of wax. The, it's very difficult to remove that with suction. So we're going to use the crocodile forceps to get a grip on this so you can see how it pops. Uh, but behind that was another cotton wool ball. So, um, which is a bit unusual, sometimes it does happen. So we used a little bit of suction just to tease a piece of this cotton wool away from the main bulk of it. Um, so we can go in then with the crocodile forceps and get a grip. The reason we do that is sometimes to get a grip you have to push into the uh, cotton wool ball which can push it further in. So I like to get a piece off the edge if we can. So second cotton wool ball come away. A uh, little bit of wax on the end of the camera and I can see that there appears to be more cotton wool. So we carried on using the microsuction just to take this away. Uh, the gentleman was aware that he'd used cotton wool to clean his ears, um, but was a bit vague about the detail. So I'm not too sure whether this is the end of cotton wool buds um, or whether it's a cotton wool ball that's been put in there, but I know he's been having difficulty with his hearing for such a long time that I think what's happened is uh, that he's tried to clean his ears once uh, with cotton wool and got it wedged in there and then tried to use maybe cotton wool buds and cotton wool again to try and clear this out just through sheer frustration so we've ended up with lots and lots uh, of cotton wool in here so we're just teasing another piece away from the main bulk of uh, the next piece of cotton wool so just taking this I started to lose count after a while uh, of how many pieces we took away um, I think from my count I think there's about 12 uh, in here between both ears so I'm just counting the larger pieces like kind of these sections you just saw coming away there uh, rather than the small straggly bits that we get away but um, yeah I, I think it's about seven from the one ear and about six um i think five or six from the other ears it's, uh, yeah so let's see what's going on here so we've got more strands of the cotton wool coming away just gently teasing this away sometimes you're lucky and it comes away in rather large blobs uh but a lot of the time what you get are these kind of slightly uh thinner strands detaching from the main bulk here which is what we can see so just still using the cotton wool ball Th there's a little bit of dead skin around the outside edge there there you go you can see that wrapped around because obviously where this cotton wool has been sat on top of the skin all the skin underneath is degraded um the 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 uh, doctors have been describing drops thinking this is um a wax problem so you imagine all those drops um any oil you produce in the ear canal the sort of dead skin tissue and stuff like that is all uh soaked up by these cotton wool balls so it's uh you know it's it's quite quite aggravated in here um and you can imagine just how uncomfortable this would have been for the patient um they really didn't hold much hope of me being able to get this out because they'd had so many failed attempts with um with syringing and irrigation that uh they, they really didn't think we were going to be able to clear it but as you can see we're working our way through it got another thin strand coming away there I mean this was you're talking the ear canals about an inch long um, and this cotton wool went from front to back so quite a bit and compressed together as well so not all loose bits uh, some of these pieces we took away were uh, really hardened up over time as well so th this is you know probably a couple of years worth of cotton wool has been stuffed in here so we don't expect this ear canal to look particularly pretty at the end of it because we're going to have loads of dead skin 
uh, tissue in there so this, this whole canal needs to dry out after we finish but you can see another piece coming away there okay so we've got to the end of it so we can just start to see the eardrum you can see that it's been pushed right up against the drum so we're just going to clear some of this uh, kind of looser skin debris you can see just that it's just been wet over such a long time it's just peeling away in layers there's one thing I do want to, you to take a look at. We're going to put a circle on here in a second um, because we had to stop for a bit because we start to see some flexion to the actual drum itself uh, as we were suctioning. You'll see it just underneath this circle. You'll see it pop back it there. Do you see it pop back into place? So we're going to call it a day there. We're going to stop on that ear and just let all that dry out and, and uh, all repair itself. It should look absolutely healthy after a couple of weeks. But uh, this is the second year now, so same patient, second year. Um, by my count, I think we took seven pieces of cotton wool out of the first year. And what I can see is we've got some wax here at the entrance to the second canal. So this is just plain old, uh, plain old wax here. So we'll get rid of that first of all. There we go. And then behind that you'll start to see that kind of familiar white of the cotton wool again so there we are so this you can see it looks like wax on the outside but this is actually a piece of cotton wool here so really kind of pink underneath all this so really aggravated canal wall here i think this patient's been really kind of jiggling stuff in there as well to try and free this up which has just compacted everything so not um not the most comfortable for the patient to have removed either so we're gonna to have to go really gently with this so sticking with the crocodile forceps now just trying to get a grip on a large piece here i can just start to see we're pulling a large piece towards the um entrance to the canal there we are hope that one pops so that's the first cotton wool ball uh, out now really based on the other ear i expected to see maybe one or two in here as well um, but you can see here the redness the pinkness to the canal wall there just underneath the suction tube um the fact that the um cotton wool has been so compacted in here it's actually pressed against the canal walls um and formed perfectly to the shape of the canal so i'm just having to try and work my way around the edge at the moment just to try and lift this up and you can see that the white uh dead skin there underneath has been trapped underneath this cotton wool um you'll see a bit of mist into the camera and things obviously this cotton wool's trapped moisture and everything in here so the ear canal's like really uh it's kind of quite humid with all this wet dead skin and all the drops that have been sucked up in here so you're just getting a bit of misting to the lens on the camera there every so often you know, just taking some dead skin tissue away there can see there's a piece here at the attic so just pulling that bit down which draws a little bit more of the cotton wool out with it so we're going back to the suction now just to try and get a leading edge on this next piece of cotton wool you can see it was quite a lot up there in the uh, the attic so the the ceiling of the ear canal so as we pull there we are, you'll start to see that coming away. So that's the second cotton wool ball out. Just pulled the next set of fibres forwards because it's been compacted against the next entrance. So there's more cotton wool in here again. You can see just pulling the straggly pieces away there. Back in with the suction now, just to tidy up, get all these looser fibres into a into a, a more kind of usable um strand that can come away so we get a better grip on it with the crocodile forcep you can see there we've got a long strand now so we should be able to get a good grip on this with the forceps there there you go you can see it's just starting to pull away a little bit just as we get the next section coming forwards so what we're working on here is the third uh cotton wool ball Which is kind of breaking down I think as it's coming out there there we go 
So that's the third one. You can see a little bit of blood there as well at the bottom where this has been really jammed in here. It's um, it's pressed against the canal wall, degrading that canal wall. Don't forget the skin in the ear canal is paper thin. Uh, so just a couple of skin layers thick and the blood vessels are just below the surface. So if you've got this aggravating rubbing back and forth in there, um, then it's going to be really, you know, you are going to run the risk of having some bleeding in here. And just how far this is pushed into the canal as well. It's it, This is going to be really uncomfortable for this patient. Um, I think we're up to the, this is the fourth. I think this is the fourth cotton wool ball that's coming out now. There you go. And behind that is more cotton wool. You can see that next ball of cotton wool coming away there. And behind that is more cotton wool. So we're still going. So I think that was the fifth, uh, that was the sixth, and there was a lot of blood attached to that one, which I'll show you in a second. You can see why, because it's been pushed right up against the eardrum, and has actually caused the bleeding on the drum and bruising there, and bleeding to the canal wall. So this has been jammed in so far, it had caused quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of discomfort. These are the pieces we removed, so they're not small pieces. Um, I actually ran out of ruler again this time. But you can see it there in centimetres. Patient was really pleased to get this out. Could hear so much better afterwards. Um, obviously, we're gonna. If this patient comes back to us just for a follow up, we'll pop that video on for you so you can see what happened. It just gives you some idea of what we had to take away. Well, if you did like, then please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thank you very much for watching our video today if you did enjoy the video then please like if you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so you can click the subscribe button here if you'd like to check out some more of our videos they're also up there now if you want to follow us you can do on facebook twitter instagram and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us as always guys until the next time take care